So Great Dramas, I have a treat for me today. It is a bit of a review of the Royal Brackler 21 year old. A phenomenal uh, brand. Again, like <coughs> Oakmore and you know, Devron, Craig Ellicke, not bottled under its own distillery brand name until 2014. And in a rather elegant um, bottle, very tall, very tall. Um, nice label, very luxurious. Uh, sells well in Asia, apparently. Um, this is the Royal Brackman. And, you know, it's <coughs> the King's Own Whiskey. And there's a lovely passage on the back here, actually, which I think you'd enjoy. So, His Majesty, having been pleased to distinguish this by his royal command to supply his establishment, has placed this whiskey first on the list of British spirits, and when known, should be truth be termed the drink divine. That's where we get the Royal Brackler from, and at the heart of the brand. And having visited the distillery a few weeks ago, um, I can tell you that this is from a, the, one of the most picturesque places. The distillery itself probably isn't going to be uh, put on many postcards anytime soon. Not like Strath Isla, for example. But what you have there is a really nice setting, way out of the way of any other place uh, nearby. And you have the, uh, the still houses akin to Craig Ellicke, um, and also Oldmore, where you have the stills. And then you just bring up the shutters to allow the airflow in to cool the room when, uh, when it gets a little bit too hot in production. The stills are beautiful, although I'm always a sucker for a still, as regular Great Drowns readers will know. Um, and then also you have this phenomenal little bridge outside where, uh, where I was very fortunate um, whilst there to be able to enjoy a dram of the 12-year-old, I believe, or maybe the 16-year-old, uh, on the bridge overlooking the distillery. Um, absolutely stunning. Really nice part of the world. Um, yeah, and the staff are amazing, by the way. Uh, really knowledgeable really helpful, really passionate about where they work, um, as most people in whiskey are, um, but yeah, fantastic. So, the 21 year old, the top end of the Royal Brackler Expressions. Wow, so on the nose, getting, it's almost a bit of a minty note. Mint, bit earthy, and like that lovely smell you get if you smell an apple that's just been freshly cut. Bit of uh, sweetness, almost like a sugar syrupy note. Um, bit of vanilla, bit of oak going on. Some darker, richer fruits there, a bit of toffee. Oh, it's making my mouth water just nosing it. That's a really nicely matured nose, actually. Really nice. And the palette, that apple note is just zoomed up. It's sweet, almost like an apple segment that's been dipped in sugar syrup. That's the memory I'm getting from this. All right, some toffee notes, other orchard fruits and kind of fleshy fruits are put in there. Maybe a couple of stone fruits. I'm getting apricot now. Oh, very, very good. There's definitely some depth there with uh, a few red berry notes, maybe uh, dried raisins, a bit of a prune going on. Oh, definitely some pear drops in there as well. Mm. Very silky, very viscous. It kind of grows in your mouth. Bit, quite a thick liquid once it's been in there a few seconds. The finish is actually extraordinarily short uh, on the throat. In the mouth, I've got it in there still a little bit, so maybe a short to mid finish. Very elegant. Very, very, very smooth. That is a lovely, lovely whiskey. Fantastic. I wonder if they're going to release any above 21 years old. 
have a fascinating uh, development as well. Um, I had a few of their single casks from the SMWS over the years, um, and they've always been absolutely stunning. Uh, very hard to get a hold of, but when you do, they're well worth the effort. As is the main range, actually. This is 21. We've got two other products in the range, and I could recommend every single one of them. Fantastic. Right, I'm off to finish this guy off. Until next time, cheers.